Hello guys, and welcome back to the boss tutorials. And this time we're going to fight the stat. Now, this guy is a big knight with a big armor and uh, kind of a big armor. <laughs> and he does great damage, so you know, be careful. Uh, shields are pretty useless unless you use a great shield. So, you might want to roll through his attacks. And. Uh, I know I'm seeing this a lot, but using a strike weapon <laughs> is uh, actually a pretty good strategy. Uh, with all armored enemies, you know, having a strike weapon will deal pretty good damage. And uh, you can, uh, uh, if you're human, you can summon Agdain here, which uh, will help uh, immensely in this fight. It will keep Velsad busy and it will deal pretty nice amount of damage. So basically, uh, this boss has two phases. The first one is uh, you get one or two hits in, and then you s kind of start to roll when he when he attacks you, and then he will start kind of like buffing his weapon. He do some little dance or something, and uh, he will uh, will use the dark element. While he does that, you can actually attack him for. I mean, uh, his defense uh, is higher while he's buffing, but uh, if you attack him, you can do a pretty good amount of damage. So, let's see what happens. There you go. Now, this is Velstad, the Royal Ages. You basically roll and you attack him if you can get him. Oh, you almost got me there, bro. Oh, man, I don't have reach with this weapon. Alright, got you at least. Ouch. It doesn't do that much damage, so... I mean, not not for now, so... Just be careful of that thrust attack, because it has a really long reach. And uh, it's annoying as hell. Alright, now it will start buffing. And while he does that, you can actually hit him by for a lot of damage. Just be careful when he gets up because, uh, yeah, you need to conserve your stamina while he does that. Because uh, he, when he attacks while he's uh, has dead aura, he will do a great amount of damage, as you can see. Now let's try not to die. Uh, let's get out of the way a little bit. Alright, perfect. When he does that, you want to run towards him and stay behind him because if he gets you with that thing, that hurts. <laughs> you can trust me on that. Ouch, didn't have any more stamina to roll, but he's dead anyway. How oh, even staggered him. And, uh, okay, I'm glad uh, you got to see his ranged attack when he starts, like, uh, kneeling and moving his uh, sacred chime. And uh, it will uh, start shooting these black orbs, and uh, when he does that, you really want to get behind him. And that's a good chance to heal or to bash him. And uh, your choice, I mean, if you need to heal, heal. If you don't, don't. Uh, yeah, we're not going to kill Vendrick yet, because we don't have the giant souls on us, so we'll do that in a separate video. So, goodbye guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next Goodbye.